final game of the opening day of the Rossford Holiday Classic Tournament. One spot remaining in tomorrow's championship game as the Clyde Flyers are set to tip off against the Rossford Bulldogs. Welcome courtside friends, Tim Clagg alongside my friend and colleague John Hobbs. And this is a very intriguing matchup, Rossford out of the NBC Clyde, out of the SBC Lake Division. And they are off and running. They can play up, they can play down in transition to the big man, draining it from outside, Grant McMaster. When you have nine seniors or when you only have one senior. <laughs> Both are great positions to be in. And yeah, not bad problems to have for both teams. And they attack the middle again. And it will drop on the strong take by Brady Wilson. A 7-0 run to start this game for the Clyde Flyers. Great to see them still loving the game and finding a way to participate. They're almost daring Murphy to shoot that three. And he shoots out of a slump. Olsen scooping it up. The step around and he will lay it in on the drive. I mean, Clyde is running the floor. Cook feeding underneath to McMaster. Forces Rossford to call a timeout here. Largest lead of the first quarter. Clyde up 10. Pass to the opposite corner. In and out. Kick back out to Murphy. Followed up. And splash from outside from Jake Morrison. Clyde working around top of the key. <laughs> right at the end of the first quarter for Griffin Knopfs. Knopfs will rise and hit the floater in the lane. Team that comes in here three and four still getting their basketball legs underneath of them. They didn't have their full team until the third full week of practice. Driving high off the window. Brendan Revels. And it's a 12 point lead. Right there, you got to give him the ball. You got to give him the ball. The defender's trailing him. You have to get him a feed. Count it. One more coming for Derek Forst. They're definitely help getting these young players together a lot earlier than what it was when, you know, 10 years ago. Yeah. There's the backdoor cut on the baseline. One more coming for the senior, Ben Morrison. Too much topspin on that attempt by Cook. And beating everyone back, stumbling in is Ben Morrison. A lead that has quickly been erased here. The flip ahead to Flewelling. Flewelling attacking, avoids the contact, followed up by Jaden Cook. 15th made three, it leads the team. Cook trying to respond. And he's automatic from outside in the corner. And he's got a rip. Hemmen revels, he goes to the opposite side, spins it in. Cook coming alive here, late in the second quarter. They have confidence in this shooter, attack the basket. Lane was wide open for Brady Wilson to take advantage. <laughs> I mean, you or I could have got to the basket on that one, Tim. Coach, it was it, wide open. Baby. It was like the Red Sea just parted <laughs> for him right there. Here's Wilson taking it the length of the floor. Count it. Back-to-back -back ba baskets for Mr. Wilson. This Clyde team is impressive. God, slashing inside. Jaden Cook breaking I mean, into double figures. Force posting up. Good seal. And a two-handed jam stuffs it home. Be the big man. Good position, offensive rebound, kick out, pump fake, driving his Revels, the finger roll finish, count it. Olsen running the floor, no look, feed, put up and in, Jaron Bolger, what a pass in transition. They swing it opposite direction, touch pass, Jake Morrison from downtown. Revels kicking it to the corner, Ben Morrison right on the money for three, turned over. Cook going one-on-one, -on -one, all the way in. Again, back-to-back -back turnovers. Cook has the last four points uncontested for the Flyers. Rebels back to Jake Morrison. They needed it, and he hits it from deep. Turned over. Rebels leading the charge. Back out. Morrison Again. looking for another. Oh, another one. I called it, baby. Again. Revels, bump shoulders, muscles it up and in through Caden Olsen. Using a lot of time to get set up here. They need a quick three. Cook looking, 
and he hits it. Oh, automatic behind the line. Time will expire. Rossford comes back, and they will play for a title tomorrow against Perrysburg. 66-64 winners.